This whole thing that happened then when people were saying that you and Nice's wife at the time yeah. had a relationship and she cheated on Nice. Two questions. One, what exactly was going on there? How did your name enter this matter? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a friend of mine, Kunle Fawale. Okay. A bounce. He raps too. I saw an online story about him. Okay. You know, I'm like, oh, and that was the, just the beginning of internet. I'm talking 2000, 2001, mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. I'm not like, ah, bro, how'd you get your story on the internet? I was like, oh, he knows someone in America right. that owns NigerianEntertainment.com. To me, that was the first yeah. entertainment yeah. blog yeah, ever. NigerianEntertainment.com. And yeah. he said it's his friend, Shion. Right. I'm like, okay, hook me up, you know, kind of thing. And then he now hooked me up. He said he has spoken to her. I'm like, oh, is it a girl? She said, yes. Okay. Now that turned out to be Tony Payne. Right. So that's how you so got in touch with Tony Payne. That's how I got in touch with Tony Payne. She sent me questions. I sent her pictures. I answered the questions, sent her. Then I sent her my songs. And then she helped me put She even helped. She was, I think she was the first person to put my songs on iTunes. All right. And YouTube. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. I think it was two years later or so that I even met, met her physically when she right. came to Nigeria. Right. And then, uh, and by that time, I'd met Nice. Mm -hmm. We had dropped Congasso. He hadn't blown them, but we had dropped Congasso. And of course, and I told her about Nice. I wanted her to do, that I have an artist that I would like for her to do the same thing she did for me, for him. So you don't want to introduce Tony to Nice? Yes, that's right. how my name came into it. Ah. <laughs> so she sent questions and don't tell anybody. I answered most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I answered most of it, but the ones that were really personal, I gave him. So I did, I was kind, I see, I did like a big brother, yes. big yes. brother manager thing without a contract for him. So I, we did that interview. So everywhere I went to for almost two years, if I didn't take nice physically, mm. I took his CDs with me. Two years later, Tony Payne came to Nigeria and Binga Dinka show in Motherland, like by jazz. So that was where I now introduced them. I think it was 2010, after the engagement, something happened. I'm not gonna say this yet. But I just realized something was going on that I wasn't okay with. Right. And it was happening around my area. Something was going on with Nice? Yes, that I didn't like. So it just led to a whole lot of stuff. You know I'm an interviewer. I know. So I have to ask, I are you saying that Nice was cheating <laughs> on Tony Payne? As I you, you, didn't want, you don't want to talk about no it? Comment. <laughs> okay. No comment. Okay. No comment. But so, I did my job. Yeah. I asked the question. Uh, yeah. No comment. <laughs> okay. You know, so it caused some kind of rift between him and I. Right. And some other people. One Saturday morning, I woke up to a call from Tony Payne. She was like, ah, where are you now? Where are you now? I'm like, where am I? What? I'm at home. She's like, ah, why are you at home? Why are you not here? I'm like, here, yeah, where? She goes, don't tell me he didn't tell you. I said, tell me what? Who? She said they were getting married that day. I said, but you didn't tell me. She said, yeah, she wanted to, but now I said he would tell me. But he never did. And she was like, she wanted me to come. And I'm like, uh, I don't think so. If he's not OK with telling me, then maybe there's something. I'm like, she begged and begged. And I said, no. You know, I got there. People, immediately I got there, people just started shouting, ah, yeah, ah, Baba, nice. Ah, they've been expecting me since. Yeah. Because people actually knew I introduced them yes. and all what. You introduced Nice to Tony Payne. Yeah. And Nice didn't invite you to the wedding between him and Tony Payne. Yeah, that was wow. when I knew there was, there was something, something wrong. you know. And of course, fast forward, like, that 2010, he did a publication that they had broken up right. that these people should respect their privacy. And, you know, so I saw that, I'm like, well. And then fast forward, I was in the house, start quest. Tony calls and goes, no, she sent me a message, dude, get yourself a lawyer. I'm like, ah, what did I do to you? Why are you suing me? She said, not me, Joe. She now sent me a front cover of some magazine back then. Rugged man destroys Nice's marriage. I'm like, okay. The next morning, I sent someone to go buy the magazine for me and they brought the magazine and if you see this page where I, I used to flip to the page and I read it was it's alleged that they said that words on the street say after you know, such a bold head you understand and I was waiting for where they said the I did something and there was nothing like that it was when the song came out once beaten twice shy mm, mm. in that song okay well I'll say it you can bleep it said I saw my girl giving my friend nodding for, for, for those that don't understand what nothing is, nothing is blowjob. Nothing is oral sex. He said it. Nothing is not, that's what it what is. What he said. Yes. <laughs> okay. You know, so he sang, I saw my girl giving my friend, my girl giving mm. my friend nodding. Yeah. She was showing him her tattoos. 
you know, you didn't have to treat me that way. It just went like that. And I'm like, I now signed somebody to go and buy it because he wrote that it was in that song that he said it. So he went to buy the and I went to buy the album, album again. <laughs> And I played this song, and I was not waiting to hear Rugged Man, this, then, then. Yeah. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. I was like, ah. So. How did this link? How did this happen? link? You know, and. Now, let me tell you this. Because mm. when I listened to the song, I knew exactly what he was talking about. He was talking about one of his exes. Yeah. And this was like two years before I introduced him to Tony Payne. Uh, you understand? I remember clearly, I took him to a show I had in Mina. Mm. I noticed he had a long face, you know, he wasn't really himself at some point. He finally opened up that he walked in on his then girlfriend, right. giving somebody, a friend of his, a blowjob. Right. And I'm like, whoa! Seven. Okay, yeah. I feel. That was the last I heard about that Come one until time. I heard that song. song. So I knew who he was talking about. Right. Most of us knew who he was talking about. Right. You know, so when I heard the song, I'm not like, oh! Uh, you understand? So, what's my business? So, I was okay, like, I, I knew it wasn't, then I confirmed it wasn't, oh, that's what he was talking about, uh, I know now. But to me now, and I thought to myself, for this thing to have been on for this long and he hadn't said a word, mm. what was mm. going on? Mm. So, I called his number again, he picked, I caught it. A friend of mine, this was the like, time of Blackberry, a friend of mine was there, I took her phone, removed her SIM, put my SIM in it, right. and I used that Blackberry to call. I'll tell you why after. Okay. When I made the call and how he picked up, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Who was that? You know, what's going on? Yeah, I know you've been traveling since me too. I just go back. Yeah. I said, the hand, I'm, why I'm even calling is because this is your song you released. You know, people are misunderstanding it. They're saying, they're thinking you're talking about your wife and me. You know, so uh, he said, oh, of course not now. And I said, yeah, of course, I know it's not about, to, I know that already, you know, but this is what they're thinking and this is what they're saying. So the best thing you can just do is um, get your uh, manager to do a press release and just say, oh, this is what's up. To me, I was saying that because now my friend, that I was talking to my friend. Then I was shocked when he said, I know, know how, he said, I know that is everything that he says that he'll clear up and all that. Everybody should go and defend anything they want to defend, that he's too busy. I know. I really don't like talking about this because it's you that I'm talking about this, you know. You know, so it's like everybody should go and do whatever they want to clear their name that he doesn't have the time, he's too busy. I'm like, ah, too busy how? I say, guy, this is not other people, this is not online, this is me. This is your wife, kind of thing, you know. I was not like, no, no, that is just the press people talking rubbish, this one, uh, this press. I said, it's not press, it's my fans and yours, mm. you know, and it's been on for a while. It was not like, no, everybody should go and defend themselves any other, he doesn't have time. Wow. I cut the call. I was pissed. Of course. I cut the call. Why I, now, back to why I changed, that phone could record. So that's why I said I think I think about things a lot, you know. Because for for me, like I said earlier, for the fact that I had gone on for that long, I had said anything, some things up, yeah. you know. So I recorded the conversation, and then my manager now reached out to his manager and said, "Hey, this is what's going on, and um, you get, we give you guys a week to clear this up because." I did, to me, I, my first step was doing what I felt was right, talking mm -hmm. to my friend, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before now getting a manager involved. So I got my manager, called the manager. That one was now like, uh, what, what do we want to do? That we shouldn't do anything that would tarnish the image of his artist. And my manager was like, so what's so going what's on? His... What do you think is happening right now to my own artist? Yes. That kind of thing. Yeah. He just said, well, we'll give you guys one week. Yeah. You know? Yeah, just jelly. And then I was, uh, I was already an internet person. I did a press release. Mm. I attached the conversation, the and now put all the email addresses from Linda to everybody, every music blog, every news blog, every TV radio station that I had the emails, I put everything, and I put it in my draft, mm -hmm. and I waited. Immediately, a week passed, I just pressed send, and that conversation went everywhere. A friend of mine called me from, in, from America that they were having, they were at a concert, the argument came yeah, up, yeah. they stopped the music, somebody plugged his phone to the system and they were playing the conversation to... <laughs> at the event, at the I event. love my Nigerian people. No gist we can avoid. Ah, they played it, that thing had more, it had more streams and downloads <laughs> than some people's album. <laughs> you know, so, because a lot of people just felt I was de just defending myself. Yes. And you know how Nigerians, yes. yeah? Once it has to do with infidelity, yeah. people are holier than thou. 
even the ones who will come out from just cheating now will still say, yeah, you knew. That kind of thing. I knew them. And one of the things that now made me feel somehow was, if Jimmy Jack has known me for how many years, can believe it. Now imagine all the brand managers, all the people, you understand? Yeah. How would they have seen this? And not everybody would tell you what they thought. Yeah, of course not, of course They would just cancel. Chen, 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 chen. We were the first people they canceled. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't, I'm sorry, I, I know I lost a lot. Do you know how it feels when you walk into a place and you feel everybody's just looking, looking at like, you? I'm sure I walked into some place, one guy don't hold his wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come close. <laughs> and now maybe the wife went to pee. Ah, yeah, baby, where are you? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. I know, but it wasn't fun. Yeah, this, was, ah, this must have been a really difficult time for you. It was. It was. You understand? So that happened. He now went on radio. Now he suddenly was. Uh, to me, I'm not like, oh, now he suddenly. Now he's not time. as busy. Yeah, uh -huh, you know, that kind of thing. So suddenly, the conversation now switched to that's even true. Why has he even said anything since? Mm. So he now became uncomfortable. Yeah, of course. He now. He started feeling how I was feeling. feeling. Then he now came out and started talking. Yeah. Then people now started asking questions yes. and all. So all of a sudden the tables now kind of turned, turned. and you know. Yeah. And then the saddest part for me was the fact that it now dawned on me that when that album came out, mm. the tradition album, it wasn't moving mm. until this. that rumor started. That's what happened. From, have you heard the song Nice Said He Caught His Wife? He moved from, have you heard the song, Nice said, Rugged Man and His Wife. But when you hear the song, you'll not hear that. Yeah. So a lot of people started going to buy the album yes. just to hear yeah. where he was supposed to have said, Rugged Man. Yeah, yeah. So now he was, yeah. he just, it really yeah. hurt me when I felt like you were throwing me and your wife under the bus because, just so you could sell CDs. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That was, to me, that was, that was the betrayal thing. part. And he even went as far as doing a song to diss me. Instead of doing a song to diss him, mm -hmm. and I did a song and talked to him. We need you to subscribe, yo! <laughs> and the reason is simple. The kinds of conversations, the kinds of worlds that we construct with our conversations on with Chude are driven by a vision of the kind of world I want to see, you know? You are the most important person in this entire ecosystem. You subscribe in monthly. So do go ahead, subscribe. Ask somebody else to subscribe. Advise somebody else to subscribe. Refer to someone to subscribe. It matters, truly. Thank you as we continue to be human together.